almost covered I worked on that a little bit during the week <clears throat> and I got to figure out how I wanted to do this put that one rib in then round this you can see how it's got that rounded front how I wanted to do that I still haven't finished saying it all the way I want I want to get this other rib across here but before I got to that I wanted to this side because that side's done well mostly done I still haven't got the back all done but get this covered um because the bottom is it only has rounded right here and this is fairly flat this way so that to put the covering on you just gotta bend it one way when you do the covering on this top it's bending a lot of different directions. This front part, you really got to force it. I have to clamp it um, with all different kinds of clamps to get it to form the way I want. Um, and uh, and uh, every single one of them you put on here, you pretty much have to clamp it, let it set dry, and then pull the clamps off, and then align it and cut them to the because it's forming and moving it you gotta make you gotta describe it and i'll show that to you but let's get this first one on here and uh get it get it formed and see how pretty you really You really, really want this soaking, soaking wet. Um, so you want as much, be able to flex this as much as you can. It's, it's already got like a curve to it. So I'm gonna go with that curve that it's already wanting to do itself. Got that cough, and of course, now I'm sneezing like crazy from the CA. I'm pretty sure it's the CA that's because I was 
pretty much better until I started doing this again. Seeing it again. I had a super hard time getting this to stay last time too. It's just try tape, tape. It just keeps letting go or, or breaking. Last one, no. What I do, it does not want to stay. I know I didn't glue it last time. You guys aren't even looking at me. I know I didn't glue it last time I did this. I, I let it set, <clears throat> but I can't get this one to stay, so we're just gonna glue it. We'll just glue it on there. This, this first one's really hard anyways because you're doing so many different so many different angles. You're pulling it this way, you're pulling it that way. Oh, excuse me.
not gluing it is we can move on to the next one. It seems like every time you start videoing something, everything goes awry. All right, well, we finally got it. the first one's in. It's gotta be trimmed up. I'll get that after I let this one set. And then I gotta scribe it to this one. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, welcome back. Well, I got the clamps off of this one. Kind of sprung back a little bit, but it, it should go right back on. So I'm lining it up with the corners. Then, uh, it over put some lines on the back And in the meantime, too, I, I put the covers on for the servo trays. See it here? Built the, so the bottom covers can go on later. You split it half and half. So then you can have some covers go on them. I did those. I put some blocks in here. Uh, 
quarter there, one here, quarter by quarter. Um, I still got more. I'm going to put one in here. Um, where else did I put them? That was it. Oh, on this one over here, I put one back here on each side of this, one on this. I want to put a couple more in here. So I got to put some on each side here, here, here. Just to try to strengthen that a little bit. And then uh, there's also some of these. Let's see how this one's loose. I want to put one on there. This one's a little loose. Put one on there. Because I glued it to this side really well. No, I didn't. Not, not that one. I want to go through and put quarter by quarter on the ones that I know are loose, loose on one side. And then whatever I do on one side, I got to do on the other so they're balanced. So, I know before I close it up anymore, <clears throat> the bottom anyways, I have to uh, put those in. Otherwise, I won't be able to get them in. I mean, uh, the gear I can put in, is yeah, that stays open. But uh, just the gear doors are right here. Believe it or not, they're not round, they're square. Um, and this one hooks to the gear and lifts lifts with the gear and these open up so I only have to run the covering just up in the just in here and I'll probably even run right a quarter by quarter through here or three quarter by three quarter or three eighths by three eighths I'm not gonna really worry about that until after I get the gear and get the wheels to make sure the wheel's not going to hit. Because I, I still haven't even ordered the, the mains yet. I probably have the wheels, the size of the wheels I need. I did have the tailwheel one. And, uh, but, get that done. So, we'll let this set. And uh, you guys seen how I did it. So I'm probably just going to do the rest of the top covering off camera. If I do do it, I'll probably just, and do video, I'll probably just uh, speed it through it. So you'll see like, because you guys, I don't want to keep showing you how to do covering over and over and over. These ones here are really, this is really hard with the bending it this way and this way. That was that's that's the hard one this one here it's just one direction there's a little bit here in the front like this one but it's separated right here and uh i guess i can show you how i did that there's uh that formers in here and i took i think it's three quarter by three quarter and put in there or half by three quarter and put in there and then i just tapered it and when I did it, I didn't get it all the way to the front. Because, you know, you're going behind this lip. So I put a little piece of uh, just the balsa on it. And uh, and just started sanding it. Because that cooler goes in here. Goes on here. Where the, it'll be the inlets for the oil cooler and then the turbocharger. Go through here. Um, I emailed him, or I didn't email him, I, I messaged him because I have his personal phone number about getting these formers, getting the top pit kit. It says he has the formers in stock for the air intake, but the cockpit kit says he doesn't have, um, it says it's out of stock. I don't know if he hasn't updated the website, but it says it's out of stock, but I'd like to get the cockpit kit, the sliding canopy. I've never done a sliding canopy, so i got to figure out how to do that. It'd be nice to open the canopy up on this one. and uh, But, yeah. But this has to be shaped some more. And then uh, there is a little, the balsa comes across here and then gets cut out. So, all right. Catch you later.
I'm waiting on that to set up. I'm going to put the W4A in. It goes right here. That's where I'm putting it. So, my plan. I'm not saying that's right, but that's how I did the other side. Thing, so, what the heck? All right. You guys Put it into the corner right here. Okay. And then I butted it up to that, the triangle. And tried to get it level at the top. Same here. Tried to do it the same as this rib. Okay. This is a medium CA. It's a new one I bought from Riders. This is actually, it's not a new bottle. I bought a big bottle of this. Bought a really big bottle. It says it's normally like $30, $36, but they had it for $26. I mean, that's a big bottle, eight ounces. It's like the same size as my Gorilla Glue. But I don't know if it's old, but it, it, it's been working good. That's why I've been using on all these, this whole thing. But for some reason, I didn't want to hold on that one. All right, now that I got that in, now I need some Three quarter. This is the one I cut off of the front of the elevator. It's the very front part. I cut it down, and this is it. And that's what I use for the other side. And I only went out as far as this. You see me? So let me see. Wrong end.
that. I made it like that. I'm going to glue it together. Set that aside. Any piece of this. Ain't it straight? Square. I don't remember how I did it, but I know this isn't straight with the rib, it's straight with the wood. I think that's how I did it. Yeah, I noticed somebody put on there for me to comment and saying to stop wiping stuff on my pants. Yeah, that's a bad habit. Had it. Long time. Probably ain't gonna stop. <laughs> These are my work pants anyways. That's usually what I wear most of the time, unless me and my wife are going out. I always, usually, pretty much always wear my work pants. All right, medium CA.
see. if I didn't glue my fingers to it too. shirts down on there on that rib No, I didn't, did the same as the other side. I left it out um, so I could put a piece of um, balsa on the front. <laughs> Try to get the shape of that curve. Just I just roughed it in by hand. Get the shape like that one. sand it down anyway so I'm not gonna sand on it so I don't move that so I have to come back to it but I just wanted to show you how I put that on there The CA soaks in so much it actually, I don't know if you've ever done it, it actually comes to the wood and glues your fingers to it on the other side. Especially when you wet it. Alright. Now I'm going to have to cut this back. So I went past. Right there. Because the, when the next wood comes through, I want it to come through. Like that one. Oh, you can't even see that one. That one's straight with it. I want to cut that back so it's the same height so because I try to make it same height as the wood to make it like so then you can shape that radiator the way I want it so it's still real wet I did go through and put all the blocks where I wanted them everywhere where I wanted them back here. I did on these little things, the angled ones to help support them. Um, I did do all of that. So I guess we're gonna wait and see where we go. And then eventually we gotta, the next hardest part to be right here to get this covered and then these should go pretty simple see this all gets covered around but 
I wanted to strengthen this, so I went, I'm going all the way to that rib there. Okay, because this one, this gets wrapped to the center, but I want the strength, so I'm coming all the way in, all the way past these three ribs here, all the way across to get the strength out of it. The center will get wrapped here with this piece. And we'll go on there, and this will get wrapped when this when this is done. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to do this outside piece pieces. I am going to do all this. I want to get this covered and finished. And then once I get the gear, I'll come back and finish all this outer stuff. I am going to finish this top though, too, all the way. I might box this in, but leave the bolt hole one open. And then this should still should stay open. I mean, you can cover this if you want to. Um, it may strengthen a little bit, but you know you got the spars and stuff. So, so yeah. So we'll see you on the next next one. I'll keep uh, probably just uh, speeding through. Putting the covering on, I'll probably just speed right to it as I'm putting them on, fast forward them.